What's going on everybody, it's Delmar and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm really excited to talk about the WWDC 2023, specifically the Apple Reality Pro, Apple XR, basically one of those names, and look at some of the development tools that could be leveraged with this new device, what we may expect to see, which is really, really exciting news. So first I wanna talk about Apple AR Kit and also the Apple Reality Kit. I believe AR Kit and Reality Kit will be heavily used and leveraged, and we may see an XR kit or an XR reality kit equivalent frameworks delivering a subset of what AR kit and reality kit provides today. So what is AR kit, you might ask, right? Apple AR kit is the core framework for all things in augmented reality that are currently being developed by Apple. It's been out for quite a while, and it's basically part of the Apple ecosystem and one of the best available today, to be honest, in which you can, as a developer or designer, can create experiences by using Xcode. You can also use Unity, you can also use Unreal, and there's also other players, but these are some of the main ones that I would mention today. ARKit also provides a large variety of AR capabilities. Some of these capabilities are really, really cool. And one of them is going to be session management. You can also do device tracking, camera access is also available, image tracking, object tracking, plane detection, also light estimation, scene understanding, which includes meshing and also mesh classification, which basically tells you what your walls are, your tables are, face tracking and also body tracking. And yes, there's a lot of different tools available in AirKit. But how does RealityKit fit into this then, you might ask, right? Apple also released RealityKit, which is really powerful. And this is a framework that is built specifically for augmented reality, but it has a huge emphasis in making things look very realistic and also called photorealistic for photorealistic rendering, camera effects, animations, and so on. There are also additional tools that were released with Reality Kit recently, and these are Reality Composer, which basically allows you to create beautiful experiences in augmented reality with drag and drop functionality. Basically, there's really no code that you have to do to be able to use this tool. There's also Reality Converter, which allows you to convert common 3D file formats to the Apple format, which is the USDZ, which basically runs on most iOS devices, including Safari, and also object capture for photorealistic scanning of real world and objects into realistic 3D versions. This is a really cool tool. So what about tools offered by game engines such as Unity and Unreal? Well. Currently, Unity offers a variety of different tools for augmented reality, and you guys know that because I teach it a lot, in which I believe it could basically be heavily used with Apple XR headset. Some of these tools are AR Foundation, which is a cross-platform toolkit for AR experiences, including those built with OpenXR, meaning that you can also use it to basically develop for HoloLens. There's also XR Toolkit, which is the AR and VR solution. And what about tools offered by Unreal? Unreal has a handheld AR template. They also have a VR template. So how would Unity and Unreal ecosystem change due to these new features, right? If Apple adds a new headset, what are we gonna see on the Unity side and also in the Unreal side? So on the Unity side, we could potentially see a new plugin which uses the XR plugin management standard perhaps a XR plugin similar to the Oculus plugin and also Pico plugin and so on. This plugin will be exposed to AR Foundation or the XR toolkit, allowing us to use existing standards by exposing some of the new features available on the Apple XR headset, which is really, really exciting. So AR Foundation does this today with mesh classifications, participants, and also other tools. Those are only available for ARKit today, so we might see that happening also with this new XRKit plugin. On the Unreal side, we could possibly see a new supported platform. Perhaps there's going to be a new mixed reality template. We could see that being supported with the Apple XR headset, or basically just a simple update to existing VR templates which are provided currently today. With all these tools and frameworks that I mentioned today, it's really important to understand that Apple is going to leverage a lot of these tools for the device that is coming out. If it comes out on Monday or if it comes out a few months from today, regardless, I think it's really important to understand that 
you need to get into XR today, not because the tools are cool, well, they are cool, but the XR industry is growing. We have a new Quest device coming out, which has passed through and also awareness of the environment. Now, you know, Apple releasing a device on Monday, possibly, is going to be huge. And, you know, making sure that you learn AR Foundation or if you like to use Unreal, I think regardless of the tool that you use, I just wanted to make a video to let you know what's available out there and what you can use today to develop for either Apple, for Meta, either for you know Qualcomm, which has the Snapdragon Spaces, Magic Leap, there's a lot of different options today versus what we had you know, a few years back when I started working in XR. So that's everything for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe because it's gonna help me in bringing you a lot more content. Thank you very much.